And ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to 12-Bit Tony, playing more Stanley Parable. If you remember in the last episode, shit got real messed. And here we are. Alright, so I guess we're making our way to the, um... To here? When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Okay. So I think this time we're actually going to go through the door on the left. Let's just do it that way. Shut up, phone! I'm busy. Okay. Meeting room. Yet there was not a single person here nope. either. No one. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find an answer there. <laughs> That's cute. All right. I'm going to my boss. Oh. Uh. Uh. Uh, this isn't reset completely, is it? Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. Okay, doing that. Let's keep going. Stepping into his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. What could it mean? Stanley wondered aloud to nobody. Huh. He began wildly tearing through papers on the boss's desk, pulling books off the shelf, looking behind paintings, desperate for clues to his Different. situation. Different. His attention was caught by a keypad behind the boss's desk. What could its purpose be? In fact, this keypad guarded the terrible secret that lay buried below his feet. And so the boss had assigned it an extra secret pin number, 2845. But of course, Stanley couldn't put it incredibly by simply pushing random huh. buttons on the keypad. Stanley happened to input the correct code by sheer luck. Amazing. He stepped into the newly opened passageway. Huh. Huh. All right. Let's go back this way again. Okay then, this game is so messed up. Okay, yep, let's keep going. It's all good. Yep. Okay. Okay. I Stanley remember. walked straight ahead through the large door that read Mind Control Facility. This time I'm actually gonna do it! This is terrifying. What is this? The lights rose on an enormous room oh. packed with television screens. I know this room. What horrible secret did this place hold? Stanley thought to himself. Did he have the strength to find out? I guess I do. I'm gonna find out. Okay. So, this, this is the button? Now the monitors jumped to life, their true nature revealed. Each bore the number of an employee in the building, Stanley's huh. co-workers. The lives of so many individuals reduced to images on a screen, and Stanley, one of them, eternally monitored in this place where freedom meant nothing. I don't understand. I don't understand. I don't understand. <laughs> What? This mind control facility, it was too horrible to believe it couldn't be true. Had Stanley really been under someone's control all this time? Was this the only reason he was happy with his boring job? That his emotions had been manipulated to accept it blindly? Uh, uh. No, he refused to believe it. He couldn't accept it. His own life in someone else's control? Never. It was unthinkable, wasn't it? Was it even possible? Had he truly spent his entire life utterly blind to the world? What is this? was the proof. The heart of the operation. Controls labeled with emotions. Happy or sad or content. Walking, eating, working, all of it monitored and commanded from this very place. I don't understand. And as the cold reality of his past began to sink in, 
Stanley decided that this machinery would never again exert its terrible power over another human life, for he would dismantle the controls once and for all. What? What is going on? This is definitely different. Oh god. Uh, was that almost when I pressed these? Nothing? Okay, it's probably for the best. Alright, so I guess I gotta head over to the facility power. Okie dokie. What's this? Big red buttons. Can't click it. I tried. Alright, go up here. Facility power. Let's go. Let's go. Let's do it. Ah! Ah! Uh. Uh. Okay. And when at last he found the source of the room's power, he knew it was his duty, his obligation, to put an end to this horrible place I, and to everything it stood for. I... I... Uh, I don't even... Eh. Yes! Yes! Wait, I can still move. What's going on? What is going on? Blackness and a rising chill of uncertainty. What? Was what? it over? Yes. He had won. He had what? defeated the machine. What? Unshackled himself from someone else's command. Freedom was mere moments away. I see yet, birds. Even as the immense door slowly opened, Stanley reflected on how many puzzles still lay unsolved. Where had his co-workers gone? How had he been freed from the machine's grasp? What other mysteries did this strange building hold? But as sunlight streamed into the chamber, he realized none of this mattered to him. For huh. it was not knowledge or even power that he had been seeking, huh. but happiness. Perhaps his goal had not been to understand, <laughs> but to let go. No longer would anyone tell him where to go, or what to do, or how to feel. Whatever life he lives, it will be his. Huh. And that was all he needed to know. Huh. It was, perhaps, the only thing worth knowing. Stanley stepped through the open door. Okay. Stanley felt the cool breeze upon his skin, the feeling huh. of liberation, the immense possibility of the new path before him. This was exactly the way, right now, that things were meant to happen. And Stanley was happy. Okay. What just happened? I just... Huh. Huh? Did I just win? Did I win? What is going on? All of his co-workers were gone. What is going on? What Stanley decided to go was, to the meeting room. I was Perhaps free. he had simply missed a memo. I was free! I did it! Uh, this was supposed to be the end! Where? What? What happened? When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. I don't even understand what's going on anymore. I was free. Is that the end of the game? Yet there was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find an answer there. Maybe I can Coming go downstairs. To a staircase, no, wait, no. Stanley downstairs walked upstairs to his boss's office. Downstairs is bad. Maybe I can go back that way I went the first time when it glitched up on me or something. Maybe it was a glitch. I guess we'll find out if I go there again. The moment he entered his manager's office, Stanley froze in his tracks. Not a living soul anywhere. Could he really be all alone? This was too much for Stanley to take. Too much for any man to take. He fell Crap. to his knees, bursting into half moans, half sobs, the guttural retching of there life from him. Stanley was in such a rush to get through the story as quickly as possible, he didn't even have a single <laughs> minute to just let the narrator talk. That kind of anxiety isn't healthy. 
So he relaxed for a few moments with some calming new age music. Oh yeah, this is where it's at. That's some good music. Don't mind me. Just playing the piano while this music plays. Come on. Feeling soothed and rejuvenated, Stanley calmly walked forward into the opened passageway. Let's go. This time, I am not, not going to the mind control facility. Not this time, Jackson. Not this time. This time we're going elsewhere. This time we are going elsewhere. To the place where that girl narrator voice was happening. The lady narrator. The lady narrator. Stanley walked straight ahead through the large door that read Screw you. Mind Control Facility. Screw you! Although this passageway had the Screw word you. Escape written on it, the truth was that at the end of this hall, Stanley would meet his violent death. I don't care. The door behind him was not shut. Stanley still had every opportunity to turn around and get back on track. Narrator still had every opportunity to shut his fucking mouth and let me Stanley walk. Stanley was making a conscious, concerted effort to walk forward and willingly confront his death. Stanley was making a conscious, concerted effort to willingly screw your mom. Let's go. We. All right. All right. All right. As the machine whirred into motion and Stanley was inched closer and closer to his demise, he reflected that his life had been of no consequence whatsoever. Stanley can't see the bigger picture. He doesn't know the real story. Trapped forever in his narrow vision of what this world is. Look at we got. Perhaps his death was of no great loss. No, no, we got. The eyeballs from a blind man. Well, okay. So he resigned and willingly accepted this violent nope. end to his brief and shallow life. Stanley. Oh god, this is... Okay, I feel like this is what was supposed to happen before. Farewell, Stanley, cried the narrator, as Stanley was led helplessly into the enormous metal jaws. In a single visceral instant, Stanley okay. was obliterated. As the machine crushed I kind of wish this happened the first body, time I did it. Killing him instantly. Okay. Oh! Okay, you can go this way. This way is blocked, and I see my name over here. I think it's the name of the game. Yep. The Stanley Parable! That's and yet it. it would be just a few minutes before Stanley would restart the game back in his office as what? alive as ever. What? What exactly did the narrator think he was going to accomplish? What? 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 When every path you can walk has been created for you long in advance, what? death becomes meaningless, making life the same. Do you see now? Do you see that Stanley was already dead from the moment he hit start? Huh. 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 What? That was my office. Then I walked through here. Everyone's gone there. Okay. The two doors. The set of two open doors was the very first concrete piece of the Stanley Parable's design. Once this room was created, the rest of the game emerged as an extension of it, an exploration of the contradiction this room posed. Huh. Filing cabinets. Office computers. Leave that shit on. Waste and power. There we go. Oh, the credits. Oh, dude, I guess I beat the game. <laughs> oh, God. What's... Oh, the impeccable Kevin Brighting as the narrator. Dude, your voice is fantastic. Okay, we got doors. We got buttons. What's this? Button sounds. A selection of sounds. Oh, that's cool. I'm guessing I kind of got the secret ending or something? Is that what this is? Hey, it's my desk. Cool. The office. Can't. 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 Okay. Well, there's still a room over there and over there, so... Let's go check this out. Okay. The office. Maintenance room. An early version of the maintenance room. Okie dokie. 
Okay. Let's go up here. What is that? The point of Stan the Stanley Parable, Parable HD Remix is to lose. The point of the Stanley Parable HD Remix is to win. Am I going crazy? Maybe it isn't the same image that was, was that clock there before. I don't remember. How do I go back? Can you check for me? More endings, fewer endings, more narrators, fewer narrators, more Stanley, less Stanley. These are screenshots of the... Okay... I'm going up here then. I don't like that room. What is this? The office. The lounge. Now oh, that lounge is not as good as the lounge that we had before. What's this? Is that the phone? The apartment timer. Huh. Timer will give you 15 seconds to pick up the phone. Okay, I'm going this way because I don't want to be in the room when the timer's going off. Uh, what's over here? Narrator emails. After the second trailer we sent out uh, after the second trailer we sent out, we asked people to email the narrator for questions. While we had initially planned to use these in further promotional uh, materials, we never found the perfect use for them. Here are a selection of those emails. Uh, I can't really read it. It's too bright. Cool, though. Very cool. That's my office. Stanley's... Oh, different iterations, maybe? Huh. Okay, so from left to right... This was the first one, this was the second one, and this was the third one. Oh, I see. Different lighting and texture and painting on the wall. Cool. Huh. Game design mock-up. This is a level that Willem, William, the level designer, sent Davey the writer as a kind of audition piece. The strength of this level got William hired to design the full game. Uh, though much of the environment has changed, the basic layout in this mock-up is still the same. Yeah, pretty much. What's all this stuff? This is the countdown room. What? I didn't reach any countdown room. I guess there's more to play. Freedom ending. Hey, isn't that what I got? Uh, this is the freedom ending as it existed in beta. Yeah, the one looked differently when I did it. Countdown desk. I don't know what that is. Monitor room elevator. Ah, for a time, the, mount, the elevator and the monitor go up and down, blah, 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 it's too difficult, the room's almost down, so we place two endings together instead. Ah. I'm guessing that's where the end is, so let me go explore a little bit more first. Is it over there? Is it over there? I want to see that. I want to see that. Let me go check it out. What's that? Office clock. Boss's office. Oh. I was kind of drab before, wasn't it? All right. Employee lounge, the mind control facility. What's this? Narration outtakes. Ah, uh, I don't see any clips. Okay, whatever. I'm gonna go check out that darkness. That sounds like a cool place to be. Get over it. All right. All right. This is good. I don't really like where this game... I mean, this is... Uh, I'll be honest. This game is freaking fantastic. It just... It's weird. It's very weird. What the hell is this? Zending model. The zending went through different iterations. What's a zending? Oh, an ending through Zen, I guess? I don't know. Zending levers. Is that a... Oh, hold on, here's it. These levers were originally a part of the Zending. The player pull would pull a lever, and the narrator would describe what color level they had... Is that lever they had pulled? Is that a shot at Mass Effect? That sounds like a shot at Mass Effect. We ran four major teaser trailers over the course of the game's development. This is the first one released in May 2002. Okay, I don't see how to make it work, so I'm just going to leave. The game is now paused. Alright. Uh, almost down here. Different! Huh. Weird. I guess this is all the different things it went through. 
All right, what's over here? I've been there. What's over here? Over huh? Nope, don't want to be in there when it goes off. All right, I'm going to go check out that exit, because it seems like a pretty cool guy. There it is. Exit. Exit. The Stanley Parable. <laughs> oh, look at these two. How they wish to destroy one another. How they wish to control one another. How they both wish to be free. Hmm. You don't say. Well, what? What? Can you see? Can you see how much they need one another? No, perhaps not. Sometimes these things cannot be seen. I don't know what's going on. But listen to me. You can still save these two. You can stop the program before what? they both fail. Push escape and press quit. What? There's no other way to beat what? this game. What? As long as you move forward, you'll be walking someone else's path. What? Stop now. Your only true choice. Whatever you do, choose it. Don't let time choose for you. Don't let time. Oh God. Okay. 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 What? All right, I'm going to leave this up to a vote. No, I'm not. I'm going to let it continue. Ugh. That end, I guess. I guess that was the end of it. I guess I got killed. Honestly, I'm kind of okay with that. I'm okay with that. All right, that's it. End of the Stanley Parable. Good job, guys. We did good. We did good. So, as always, like the video, subscribe to the channel. Check me out on Facebook and Twitter at those.com slash told with Tony. If you notice something that I missed, let me know in the comments. I'll get back to it and maybe record another video. But uh, until then, I guess I'll just see you guys in the next one. Peace out.